Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just thwarted the efforts of some Heralds of Zidrog, or Zifrog, or whatever it is, and we are now going to be traveling to the tram market. And many of you in the comments have been asking for a new mount. Well, we have done just that, as we can see here. We have a Savannah Varanticus, by the looks of things. And so, we are now going to be, ah, talking to the bystander who is just over here. Come on, hit him! Hit him! You are kidding me! Sixteen thousand, Mr. Winden. Six in a row. Random matchups. You have to have an in, Mona. Tell me. Enough data at your disposal, and anything's possible. Want to see if seven's your lucky number? Scamming citizens isn't legal, Mona Gale. I'm not scamming anyone. And knights have no authority here. Yes, you are. And I don't care. The Lady of Sorrows. Where is she? If I knew where to find my most lucrative, reclusive, and dangerous meal ticket, I wouldn't give that up for one night and whatever you're supposed to be. I'm the Outlander, charged with the murder of Emperor Valkorion. The one that's a block of metal in the middle of the spire? Sure. People of Sahul, this is your Emperor. Hear me. This should be good. The criminal who plunged our great spire into darkness and chaos has finally been identified. The craven outlander who assassinated your immortal emperor, my dear father, has escaped custody and remains at large, aided by a rogue knight of Zagul. These deadly agitators were last sighted in the old world. If you encounter them, contact an authority figure immediately. So, so where were we? You were about to tell them where to find the Lady of Sorrows. Except I can't. I really can't. I don't even know how to reach her. She only ever contacts me. But... She does occasionally meet with the Heralds in Breaktown. They have some kind of truce. That's the best I can do. Just don't agitate us. How about you stop taking advantage of others? Sure. Whatever you say. Breaktown's the underbelly of the underbelly. No mingling there. Only corruption and torment. You know... We might owe Arkana thank you for unintentionally helping us. That announcement really brought you some clout. If this is unintentional help, I'd hate to see what it looks like when it's on purpose. Oh my, well, let us head to the tram to break town. On our fantastic new mount, oh yes. And so we are going to be uh, heading down the elevator here. And, oh my goodness, of course, the elevator would be going down just as soon as we wanted to use it. And, oh, we have some Sky Troopers attacking some people here as well. Thankfully enough, we have no need to deal with those Sky Troopers right now. And I'm going to be jumping off here. Now, I would like to be able to jump all the way, but unfortunately, no kind of slow fall or reduced falling damage ability I can use to make it a little easier on us. But, yes, we are just going to be making our way down around right about now and we'll just land there to reduce our falling damage a little bit and so where do we have to go to next it appears as though here i would assume here yes undercity transport station and i think hmm, i think it may be no it's this way yeah it appears to be this way we need to take the tram in fact so let us interact with the button and get to break town This is it. Break town. Where people who fall in hard times keep falling. Even when the knights policed the old world, we never lingered around here for very long. Uh, uh, 
I can see why. I know where the Heralds are headquartered, but they won't give up any information willingly. Even zealots have their breaking points. That they do. They seem determined to meet you. No, I told them break town, but that's all. <sighs> like, I want to get on your bad side. You, Gale. You've seen the fugitives. Come on, you know how this works. You give credits, I give information. We know they were sent here. Tell us everything, or end up like your associate. What associate? I believe his name was Reg something. You know who I work for. And you know who we work for. Oh, well, we have quite a lot of drama going on there, I have to admit. And so now we have to make our way around by the looks of things. Okay, so yes, it appears like we need to take the road very well traveled. As we can see here, there appears to be only one way. Update. I am determined that the industrial strength cleansers that Master Fortena insisted upon using are, in fact, highly lethal when applied to the infesting creatures directly. This revelation should accelerate my completion of the task considerably, Master. Well, that's great to know, HK. Goodness me, I really do like that guy a lot. Okay, well, nevertheless, we are going to be making our way to the gate entrance now, and... Hopefully we won't be fighting too many difficult units, but the Heralds of Zidrog do appear to be somewhat, well, fanatical, shall we say. A lot of firepower standing between us and their leader. They call him the Exalted. Arkin put him in charge here, but he's little more than a servant, and not a sane one. About time you got here. Cough. T7 told me you were headed into Breaktown. Figured the rest for myself. Didn't think there was a scenic route to get here. What in Skyva's name are you doing here? Couldn't trust us to get the job done? I didn't stay ahead of you all those years by trusting the wrong people. No offense, Outlander. You at least, I want to trust. So let me clue you in. The Exalted hates Knights. He won't say one word to Senya. I'll make him talk. Look, I'm regular people. I speak their language. You want to make a deal with the Heralds? I'm your man. They're delusional thugs. There's no deal to be made. Cough. Come on. Let's see what you can do. Senya, hang tight. We may still need you in there. Yeah, keep an eye out. Well, that was a slightly... Hmm, not too happy with that decision, to be honest. Although, I am mainly making it for a very good reason, because Koth obviously knows the surrounding environment here, and they don't really like the Knight of Zakul down here, so I was thinking, well, hopefully, taking Koth will make a difference? Question mark? Probably not, but we'll just take our chances shall we say and we're going to be stealthing by all of these guys as much as we can at least and where is ah yes there we are there's the door so we're going to be going into the stronghold of the heralds of zildrog it's actually zildrog okay okay so now after that small loading screen we are going to ah yes i was hoping i would be able to stealth but no such luck right now so yes we're just going to be taking on these guys here and taking them out, no problem at all. Okay, so I'm going to say not sure yet. And we're now going to be stealthing and heading on towards the Exalted, who no doubt is the leader of the Heralds. So let's make our way around the side here. And oh my, well, there appears to be quite a few elite units around here as well. Well, shall we say stronger units? than normal, and let's just see here. Oh, they actually don't have that much HP. They only have 6,000, so we should very much be able to... 
take them on if we so desire. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Outlander. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. Don't thank me yet. Spirited. I like Spirited, but I don't like you. You cannot be allowed to remain in the old world. Your presence threatens the order we have fought to maintain. And you've done a good job from all I've seen. Goth Ortena, former naval officer, former local. Spent a lot of my youth in the old world. Hand to mouth was a real mess back then. You've got a great deal with Arkin, but he could pull the plug on it at any second for any reason. What if he couldn't? How do you mean? When the Outlander and I pull Arkin from the throne, you won't have to answer to him anymore. All we need is to meet with the Lady of Sorrow, so we can convince her to come with us. I bet you can make that meeting happen. You want to supplant Valkorion's brat and take my greatest adversary out of the old world? Sounds fantastic. But how do the two of you intend to dethrone Arkin? You really need us to spell it out for you? If you think you can defeat him, I have no qualms. Arkin gave us power, then implemented so many restrictions that we are in many ways powerless. And he has sapped the very spirit from Zakul. Most don't even realize. But his undoing, it cannot be at your hands. Why not? Valkorion's fall, Arkin's rise, it all conforms to prophecy. You do not. Only when the prophecy is realized will our great serpent return to cleanse Zakul in fiery death. You cannot be allowed to succeed. Thought oh, we were getting along. On my mark! Exalted. I'm busy! The Lady of Sorrow demands your attention now. I've seen one like that before, back in your part of the galaxy. Your grip on the old world has become a stranglehold. You continue to act counter to the Lady's interests, most recently with the murder of our contractor, Mona Gale. This can wait. I have company. The Lady has decided to renegotiate the terms of your agreement. We made a deal! And now, you will agree to a new deal. Father! Brennan! Release him at once! Come to the Razor. You and the Lady can discuss your son's future. And you! The Lady would like to speak with you as well. You could have reached out earlier. Save me a lot of trouble. We prefer caution over haste. Your identity had to be double confirmed, and your motives made known. The Lady of Sorrows is fully aware of who you are. Outlander. And now she also knows what you're after. She would like me to assure you it's not a trap, and that I'm unharmed. So that's that. Under no circumstances are you to kill the Outlander. Understood? Understood. Kill the Outlander. But I thought she said under no circumstances. Oh, of course. Of course. Very much so. Okay, well, we are just going to take this guy out. No problem at all, as far as I'm aware, because... Well, this guy does appear to be relatively difficult, but the rest of them, not so much. Unfortunately, he has a lot of stuns, so we're unable to actually get into a good position to do some AoE damage. But once we have... Well, it's going to be a good night for him, in my opinion. So, let us just continually do some relatively nice damage right here. Look at that. Wow, 6,400. Not bad at all. Continue doing damage. Thank you. A nice creeping terror. Reapply that. And an assassinate. Demolish. Wow, thank goodness. The demolish actually took a while to proc right there, so... Yeah, a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? But nevertheless, we can actually loot something here. Is this better than what we have? It gives us some accuracy and endurance, but nothing else that we really want to write home about right now. So, in other words, let us take the lift to Midtown and see where we need to go next. Obviously, we need to, well, I wouldn't say rescue Senya, but we are going to be 
retrieving her from the presence of the Lady of Sorrows, and we're just going to now be finding a way to shut down the security grid, which should actually be very easy considering we have stealth capabilities, which I very much appreciate. It makes everything a whole lot faster, and now let us use Force Lightning on that, and now enter the Razor. Now, where is the Razor? Oh, it appears to be in No Man's Land at the moment. We have not uncovered the map just yet. But where... where oh my, where do we go? Uh, hmm, okay. It appears as though we need to go around this way. Yes. Seems to be working relatively well. We're just going to be making our way there cautiously, as Thea stated. Caution over haste. Update. My sensors cannot detect any further traces of the infestation aboard the Gravestone Master. Recommendation. You may wish to acquire 30 to 40 gallons of industrial cleanser while you're in the spire. Our stocks have been somewhat depleted. Ah, of course, of course, HK, yes, he was using all of that to purge the infestation. And I don't even think I really need to use a mine trap on any of these guys, but we're going to do it anyway, just to make it a little easier for us, I suppose. And, yes, this is going to be very easy indeed. Take out that guy, and, wow, okay, so Koth actually stunned the one that we had not stunned, which is actually very, very nice. So then we only had to fight two of them, and there it is. So there is a bonus mission. But why do we need to do the bonus mission? It does give us 27,000 credits, but... 27,000 credits for 25 kills, not entirely sure, really. But, nevertheless, let us enter the Razor. And then, apparently, get the invalid code. So we're going to be making our way over to destroy the East Side Generator, which is... Okay. Well, there's some weird stuff going on here. This is an invisible wall, because they want you to fight these Heralds of Zildrog, but considering we have... Okay, so there's an invisible wall on that side as well. So, considering we have, as I was about to say, stealth, we should be able to get past without being attacked. So, let's use our death field here. Get force choked, because that is just what we do. And then apply some dots to this fellow, and then spread them with our lacerate. Very nice indeed. And a nice demolish to finish this guy off, hopefully enough. There we have it. Wow, Koth actually seems to be doing some pretty reasonable damage. And we did just retrieve some boots, which have an additional 23 endurance. Which might be better than what we are currently using. Because 26 power for 23 endurance, I think that would probably be a good idea. Yeah, I like the critical rating, so I'm going to keep that. And... Yes, we have a couple of other things here as well. Wait a minute, what about this? Endurance instead of mastery? Mm, not entirely sure about that, to be honest. Okay, well, whatever the case, we can now apparently use Force Lightning on a fence and then on the local power junction. And now we will gain access to the Razor, which is back there. Okay, that is fine. So let's use our speed up and we'll get over there post haste and we will see who the lady of sorrows actually is because we have no idea right now long time ago the razor was the place to be now i'd rather be back in the swamp oh my okay so it appears as though we need to defeat more heralds and we have a fellow here that can be mind trapped very easily indeed and we will be taking out this fellow as well and i'm going to port over here to this guy Oh yes, I really do love that they added that ability in this expansion. Very, very nice for the Sith Inquisitor. Well, Sith Assassin? Not entirely sure whether the Sith Sorcerer gets that. It's unlikely, isn't it? Because obviously the Sith Assassin has to be within melee range most of the time. And so let us finish this guy off without too many difficulties. There we have it. Very nice indeed. Okay, so now let us loot this fellow. Because, well, free credits and some junk that we can sell. And now we'll move around as well here and take the penthouse lift. Okay. Well, thankfully enough, once again, we have stealth. So this is very easy indeed to get by. A harbinger of Zildrog can probably avoid that. Yes, we can. <laughs> that was cheeky. Goodness me. 
Okay, so... Ah, we're actually in combat still. Which is a little unfortunate. No, okay, there we go. We are now out of combat. That's good. So I was a little bit worried about that, but we are going to be abandoning this bonus mission. As it is a little confusing to have multiple quest objectives on the map at one point. And instead we are just going to be heading on to the main mission. And the Lady of Sorrows. And of course Senya as well. And I'm actually anticipating who she is. I actually have no clue. So we're going to find out. I knew I would find you. New partner. I am not amused. You escaped lawful imprisonment, then ordered your friend to kill my partner. You're going to pay. I can start shooting now, right? Kos Fortena. Treason. Sedition. Gross incompetence. You made the last one up. I'm glad we risked coming to the old world. Now we get credit for neutralizing two criminals. You the get no mercy for me! Justice. I don't think that's going to happen. I do not think that's going to happen. So let's use Mind Trap on one of them, and we're just going to focus the other one down, hopefully enough. Now, this guy actually did just resist some of my dots right there, which was quite unfortunate, but nevertheless, we were able to very easily reapply it, of course. Now, a nice demolish. We're just going to focus this guy down first, because why not? We have the opportunity to do something like that. I think that's pretty cool. So let us just continue dealing our damages and continue dotting up our opponent. And he is now dead, very easily indeed. And now we can deal with the next one. After we have rejuvenated a little bit of our force energy, we can now apply some dots to him as well. Wow, that is actually very nice. That ability is so powerful because we're able to actually use it on bosses, technically. I mean, I'm not entirely sure whether you can classify these guys as a boss, but apparently the game does not. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure... We would have more difficulties. Scion to see your epitaph. Here lies the outlander who brought disorder and ruin to Zakul. You won't even merit an epitaph. It's them or us. Yes, it is. That is very, very true, Koth. And now we will be using the penthouse lift, finally, and finding out who the Lady of Sorrows is. The Heralds had a head start. Be ready for anything. We could be stepping out into a minor war. I know a thing or two about war. I know. You didn't get the deal you wanted, but you did get the deal you deserved. Think of it this way, Exalted. You'll finally be with your great serpent. I'm curious, Outlander. What would you do with the Exalted Son? He could be his father's son. Could want revenge for his death. It would be a risk to let him live. Cautious. Unfettered by morality. Interesting. Do you hold any animosity towards me? For what? There's nothing to stop you from becoming the new Exalted now. I expect you to honor your end of our agreement. Of course. I can finally lead the Heralds to the glorious future we deserve. You will have your just rewards. Then leave. Never had anyone sneak up on me like that. I'm lucky she didn't want me dead. I'm glad you're all right, Senya. Thanks. Since we need her help and she had me at a sizable disadvantage, I told her about the gravestone.
that you I didn't have to tell her about. You're the Lady of Sorrows. A droid. You shouldn't have... I'm no droid, Dark Lord. I'm an intelligence beyond comprehension. You may call me... Scorpio. I've come to Zakul to further my heuristic directive of self-improvement. This self-iteration is number 1084. The proposal put forth by your colleague intrigues me enough that I've decided to accompany you. Is that right? Continue operations in my stead. Annihilate the Heralds if you must. I will remain in touch. Very well. Guess you convinced her. Don't think I had to. She's unlike any machine I've ever come across. Not exactly what I expected, but close. Shall we depart? If you can do what you say, you'll be quite an asset. I do not engage in hyperbole. I've never found a need to. Why are you agreeing to help? I wish to speak to the gravestone. I look forward to communicating with an intellect that rivals my own for a change. What about Arkin? He has something of mine. The severity of his error must be recognized. What did he take? Just asking. Confirm. Preparations are already underway. Fat fingers. That's Captain Fat Fingers. You do this vessel a disservice with your primitive hands. Give me full access. I will enhance the gravestone's current parameters. I'm not opposed to the idea. I am. Focus on the hyperdrive first. Acceptable. For now. Statement. Ready to vaporize. Your lack of intelligence is insulting. Let's give them space. That bridge can only hold so many personalities. I'm used to it. I imagine so, given your previous companions. Scorpio worked with Imperial Intelligence in the past, but now she operates independently. Thoughts? She's probably listening to our conversation. Lovely. Not that we have any privacy, considering who's inside your head. There is some good news. I've received word from my agents on Coruscant and Dromund Kars. Certain elements of each government are willing to discuss an alliance, to unite their forces against the Eternal Throne. We can only defeat Arkham by working together. We have a long road ahead, but at least they're talking. Your presence is requested. Come along. Charmer, that one. Senya knows how to pick them. Be careful. We need the Scions, but Zealots are unpredictable by nature. 
After last time, I doubt he's looking for a rematch. All the same. One hour. If I don't hear from you, I'll rip that sanctuary apart. Well, thank you very much, T7. I believe I will probably need the escort, goodness me. Okay, so, wow, look at our influence game with Senya right there. Look at that, 2,600. That is absolutely insane. A couple of common data crystals there, as well as some Force Lords Mark VI feet and hands. Okay, well, we'll take that. Thank you very much. And we're going to see what they actually pertain to so let's see here they gave uh, some mastery deficiency right there but gave us some more power and accuracy instead of yes okay so they are not as good as what we would otherwise be wearing so yes without further ado we're going to be making our way to speak with scion heskel once again with t7 by our side and next time we will see what he wants and so i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time